For each new WordPress theme submitted to ThemeForest, our reviewers have a checklist that they use to ensure that each theme is up to the proper standards. So we review everything from the design to the coding quality to its function or appeal to whether that design is represented already on the site. And then we also look at things like validation and documentation. So I thought we could take a look at a couple items that have not sold well and then items that have sold extremely well and review what the differences are between them. So we'll begin with a theme that did not sell very well and this one's called Blog App WP Theme and you can see that it sold four times. So the first thing we should do is take a look at the theme itself and when reviewing a new item you can see here that although the design it's a bit modern but it's okay how many people will this appeal to? And this is something that you absolutely have to consider. When you're designing a new theme, it needs to appeal to a wide range of people. And this one obviously is not going to, which is why it only sold a few times. Let's also take a look at the source code while we're here. Now if we look, you can see that uh, it's a bit of dated source code. We're using the old doc type. They can update a lot of this. Uh, lots of scripts at the top when a lot of this could be placed at the bottom. Lots of inline JavaScript. So you can see here, just lots of stuff. Uh, maybe this tool to preload images, he could probably do that a lot better, adding these width and height attributes. So the source code, probably needs a little bit of work. Now again, in terms of the design, the functionality is okay, but it won't appeal to too many people. Next, let's come in and look at what the author has included with his source files. And you can see here that he has his licensing, which is required for all WordPress themes because they're sold with dual licensing, half GPL and half proprietary license. And you can see he stores his documentation online. It's probably better to do that as a PDF. And now if we go into his theme, you can see here that it's just a simple theme. He isn't including the PSD or a fireworks file. He isn't cl including any kind of theme options panel, which is vital and is included in the top selling themes. So here he's done the bare minimum and it shows in the fact that it's only been sold a few times. Next, let's take a look at another one. And this too is only sold four times or so and it's been on the site for over a year. So if we take a look at the live preview, again, you can see that this simply will not appeal to a large enough audience. You can see there are mistakes here where the text is being clipped off. That should be fixed. If we come back and we come down to the sidebar, we can see that he has not updated this for WordPress 3.0 plus. It's still using 2.8. So it might work, it might not, but it's always important to update all of your themes with each new version. So uh, once again, we can take a look. He's using odd colors. This simply will not appeal to a wide enough range of people. Now let's take a look at one of the most popular themes on ThemeForest, and this was built by our number one author, Creasy, and it's called Display 3-in-1. Now what this theme did is when it was released, it created a huge trend of copycat themes. So let's take a look at it, and you can see it's actually fairly simple. He's taking advantage of a very popular flash slider, and if we scroll down, you can see that he has just a very simple bit of information, but it's organized very nicely. Now this, on the other hand, will appeal to a wide range of whether it's companies or businesses or personal sites or portfolios. You can see he's not doing anything too much. It just has all of the information, and then once you buy it, you can adapt it how you need. Again, if we click on the blog, it's just very simple, but you would be amazed that this is sold over 3,500 times at a price of about $40. So he's made an extraordinary amount of money off of this theme, and it's because he uses clean lines. So if you take a look here, notice that everything serves a purpose. So all of his lines line up. He has proper spacing. The colors blend well. He's not using anything too out there. And then if we come back and we want to take a look at the source code that he provides, you see how organized it is here. So he has a PDF specifically for version history because he's constantly updating his themes. And you can scroll through here, and this is every update, and you can see he's updating it every few months or so. He also includes the PSDs, which is vitally important if the buyer needs to make some changes. And he includes his documentation, which is a handful of pages. Support is one of the most important things when selling. Uh, don't ever underestimate the importance of providing quality support. And if you don't do it within your documentation, you're going to have to do it via email or your support system instead. So better to do it up front in a PDF file rather than having to repeat yourself over and over. And then if we open up the actual file for the theme, you can see that he has widgets, he has theme options, he has his slideshow. It, all of it is organized 
perfectly and that's the number one reason why this theme has sold so amazingly well. Now let's take a look at another theme and this one's called Big Feature and what's amazing about this is it's extremely simple. So if you take a look at the live preview you'll be able to see that it's really nothing too special. It's got a big image, it's called Big Feature, but you can, if you look here, it's really a very, very simple blog, but it again has sold over 3,000 times. And it's because due to the fact that it's clean and simple, the buyers can then modify it however they want. If we look, he has example pages, he has a drop down menu, he has all of these different. So even though it's a simple blog, he provides all of these different layouts or templates. So if we want to take a look at front page three, you can see that's different. So even though it's deceptively simple, he provides a lot of flexibility. And then he integrates the documentation into the theme itself so that you can look at the change log, frequently asked questions. Notice how these top selling themes focus a lot on support. Now when reviewing items, that's one of the things we make sure we look for is if no documentation is included with the submission, it's immediately rejected. Documentation is required. But even if the documentation is subpar, we many times will reject it as well because it ends up requiring more support work on our parts as well as the authors. Now coming back to this display theme, because this theme was so successful it created a host of copycat themes where they all copied this exact layout where you have a big slider at the top and then maybe three columns at the bottom. You wouldn't believe how many of these we received and it got to the point where we had to reject them because at some point for a style like this it's represented on the site and we don't need a hundred themes that use this same variant. Next, notice if we come back to display theme, his WordPress version is up to date. So it's not 2.7, it's not 2.8. Whenever a new version comes out, top authors make sure that they update. And then finally, in terms of validation, we validate every theme, but we don't require 100% validation. So you're free to use the new HTML5 elements and attributes, and you're of course free to use the vendor-specific CSS3 features, like whether it's Moz border radius or WebKit box shadow, you're free to use that in your theme, and in fact, we encourage it. So while we do validate, we understand validation is a tool and it's not important but you should validate everything you build just to make sure that you didn't leave out any errors because if we do find any we will reject the theme and finally the biggest tip I can give you when submitting new themes is to focus more on function than specifics so for example you won't find many bowling websites on ThemeForce and the reason is it's only going to appeal to a very small range of people those types of projects are better off being used in a per client basis you want to keep your themes a little bit more more generic that way they can be applied to a wide range of projects okay so that's just a handful of features that we look for on theme force of course there's going to be much more but just remember focus on your design keep the coding up to standards don't copy people always work on your documentation and make sure you validate